So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a comp track or a composite track. Now, a composite track is awesome because what this does is it takes multiple recordings that you have and puts them together, just the parts that are the best. So you take all the parts that are the best and put them to one composite track to make your very best performance. So let's see how to do that. First, I'm going to set some things up here. I'm going to go into Pro Tools Preferences because what you really need to do is you need to go into where it says Operation and Preferences. And then the record up here, you're going to make sure it says automatically create new playlist when recording. In the background, then, when we're making um, loop recordings, it's going to keep on keeping track of them and making a list of them or a playlist of them for us. That's what we're going to use to make the composite track or comp track later. Cool. We got that going. Now, I'm going to have a um, loop record on here because I'm going to just be recording in loops. So, need that on there. Um, you can either hold down on it or right click on it and go from regular recording to loop recording. And of course, I need the tracks themselves. So track, new, gonna make a vocal track here for myself here. Gonna also make uh, an instrumental track. And then I'm gonna make in one more track, which is a, a click track to play along to. So now I've made the piano part and I'm just gonna sing along to it. Just need to make my selection. There it is, chord enable. And then I hit play when I'm ready to start. Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world Took the midnight train going anywhere Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world Took a midnight train So once you've made all your recordings, you can go ahead and stop. And then if you click where it says wave over here and go to playlist, you'll see all of them there. Now we just got to pick the best ones from each and put them together. Okay, so once you've made the comp, you have all your different takes here. And if you look at them, they're numbered. This is my seventh, the last one I took. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have all these different takes that I made. Um, I like some of the, the first one best, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight a little area here. I'm going to hit loop play, and then I'm going to solo the particular one I, one I want to listen to. So if I hit play here, it's going to play through this one. But then if I hit solo on this next one, and this next one, it's going to audition each of these different takes so I can hear which one sounds best. So I'm going to hit play. Just a small town girl. Just a small town girl Just a small town girl Just a small town girl Okay, so I like that first one actually best. So what I'm going to just do is I'm going to select this area and hit this little arrow. Arrow replaces the top part with this green part here. Next, I want to find the next part I like. I'm going to select and see what this sounds like for each. Let's get all that in there. And hit the up arrow. So I picked the last one here. And hit up arrow. So now I have a composite of each of the best parts that I sang. And if I just unsolo this, it's going to sing the top only. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. So the comp track I made here works pretty well. Um, but sometimes you'll have little pops and clicks when it goes from one of these takes to another take because you might have like a different length of one like this than another and have little stuff in between that gets in the way. Um, so if that's the case, you may have to go to the side of one of them, chop it up a little bit or something like that first. Um, and you can delete parts in the middle if you don't want them to. Okay. Turns out this one works pretty well. So I'm just going to select the whole thing, hit shift, select all of it. I'm actually going to make it in, I'm going to make it fade between each of these. You don't see this, um, but I'm going to hit edit fades, create fade. 
or Apple F. And this is actually going to make a crossfade, fade between each of the little connections. You can't see it because it's really small, so I'm going to zoom in there. Apple right bracket. And notice this little fade there. Just a tiny fade that goes between each of these. Okay, cool. Got the fade in there. Now I'm going to hit where it says playlist over here and go over to waveform. It's going to show back in my composite view here where I see all the different takes put together. I don't like them as separate clips though. Um, so I'm going to right click and then hit group. It's going to create what looks like one take ultimately. Then I can do some further work with this if I want. One of the main things you probably want to do right after you create this composite track is just go to Audio Suite, Other, and Normalize, and make sure that it's as loud as it can be without clipping. I typically put it as minus 0.3 dB. Then hit Render. Now you have the clip as large as it can be without clipping. It looks like it's clipping here, but that's just because of this little thingy here showing it too large to display. So I'm going to hit Down. If I play it back though, everything should be fine though. And lonely world. Loud, but no clips. Now that I have that, I can finish doing any vocal processing and other things I might want to do. So I've gone in and done some vocal processing and some processing to the entire mix. And just for reference, here it is again without. Just a small town girl. Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train going anywhere Here's the whole version with everything on Just a small town girl Living in a lonely world She took the midnight train